Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to perform binding uh, in a .NET MAUI. So uh, here we have uh, create a new page first of all and check uh, by default we have a models or not. So there is a no model in the folder so just create a new folder that is uh, that is name is models. So here we have a models and uh, just create a customer class new class and uh, here we have a customer class and first of all make it public and you can take two property in the customer class that is id property and the second one is name property okay so if you want to bind the label uh, or you can say that single property of the uh, control then you can uh, then you can how to use the bindings in ESP, uh, in uh, .NET MAUI so here we have a customer class and add a uh, new content page so just add click on add new item and select .NET MAUI and uh, content page okay so the page name is label binding so label binding demo so here we have a label binding demo and in which you can set the label name first of all hex colon name equals to uh, lbl1 okay so here we have a label one so just copy this code uh, sorry copy this name and uh, in the content page so in the uh, code behind page of this just after initialization component uh, you can say that bind label is the method name and uh, just just i want to change the name of mm, uh, just i want to change the name of the or you can say the text property of the label that is the welcome to dotnet maui and the first time when we load then you will uh, you will get that type of things so you can say that customer is the class name in the models so customer equals to new customer okay and you can initialize that customer by using this id equals to one and name equals to that is checkup okay after this you can you can use binding And here we have a b1 equals to so you can say that customer binding and new binding Oops. and customer binding we have dot source equals to that is customer and binding dot path there is a only two property in the uh, binding that is the source and the path source where is the data source and the path is the actual property name which is to bind the label so here we have a name property okay and if you want to bind the label control then just get the name property of the label control that is lbl1 so here you can set here you can set lbl1 dot set binding and uh, here we have a label dot text property so just use the label class and every control have a uh, bindable property so you just go for the control go to go for the definition and you can say that every class every uh, control class have a bindable property so you can check in this this is the bindable property uh, line height text text type property so just i want to bind the property that is text property i want to bind the text property of the and each control and each entry control that is like a label view element transformations and every uh, control have a bindable property so these are the binding and you can set that label dot text property 
so here we have a label dot text property and assigned to cust binding and you got that label is bind with the new name that is jacob and run this program on your windows machine that is quickly run so here you can see that there is the name that is jacob uh, that is actually hidden from this uh, uh, from the so just i want to show that a label uh, in the end so vertical option is end and horizontal option is also end in the positions we have to change So the text property is welcome to .NET Movie, but you can see that is the name is Jacob in the label because the single binding properties work. Okay, so here we have the name is Jacob. So the next uh, thing to add uh, the single property using the static resources. So how to use static resources in uh, there is the Jacob. Okay, so uh, how to bind. Uh, property in the static resources so here we have this and also comment this code first of all and in the label binding you can see that here we have a so bind the single property uh, uh, using the resources also so first of all make the comment is binding label so all these codes are uh, uh, by default uh, um, commented there is no executor at runtime. So first of all, bind uh, the single property using the uh, resources. So here, here you can see that, uh, and the name is customer. There is the name, and here you can see that CLR name space, and the CLR name space or so models. Okay. So in the um, content page, you can just type content page dot resources, and here you can see that customer, and the class name is the customer, and here you can see that the key property. So x colon key, that is the uh, customer data. And that is ID is the one ID is two you can say and the name property is uh, Smith okay so how to bind this label uh, with the name so there is a no need to uh, use X column name okay so here we have a text properties already there so just remove and that is the text oops the text is actually just I want to say that binding and just I want to bind with the name property so oops name oops okay just got an error and after that that is the uh, source property source equals to static resources and the static resources is the stata so here we have that is the bind with the name that is the smith okay the, and the name from just come from the static resources that is the source property okay so just save this and just go for the windows machine you can check the data that is the name is smith so here we have a complex type data just want to uh, take it as a resources to bind the label so here we have the name is Smith so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and .NET Maui thank you very much